unfortunately your girl woke up with like 10 new pimples all on my face this morning all red and all inflamed and they hurt but i am gonna have an amazing day on purpose today and i don't have time to let stuff like that stop me no ma'am i have let acne control my life for so many years you get to a point where you're just like i can't anymore i'm tired of letting it control me in my life in my decisions if you know, you know that I have had acne for like seven years straight now and I'm just like, girl, at this point, life is amazing. Life is great. To let something that little stop you and you're absolutely beautiful, that's immature. So with that being said, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, your girl is going to be vlogging. I don't have like a crazy big plan for today's day, but it is the nicest day we have had in Michigan this year. It is literally going to be 81 today. It is so beautiful outside. I am so excited, but I told myself, and I do this on certain days to make me get done what I have to get done. My room in my bathroom is absolutely a mess and disgusting. It has me feeling nasty and disgusting. I have just been so busy. My schedule has been very busy. I've been working a lot, so it's just like, um, I don't be feeling like leaning but I told myself if you want to get out to this beautiful day and go get some ice cream and do what the heck you want to do today you gonna have to go ahead and clean up if you don't get that done you ain't leaving the house I told myself that yep that's called discipline mm -hmm, and what so <laughs> right now I'm about to go ahead and clean my bathroom clean my room I gotta go ahead and get in the shower rinse off real fast matter of fact not even rinse off because I gotta wash this dang rat's nest and then I'm gonna go ahead and head out and enjoy the rest of my day. But as of right now, girl, I gotta go ahead and clean up. But like I was saying earlier, I am choosing on purpose to have an amazing day. What that means is I'm choosing to have an amazing day, which is something that I need to get used to doing every single day. Because happiness isn't given, it's chosen. You have to choose to be happy. So with that being said, that's what I'm doing, girl. And girl, yes, before y'all get to asking, I do have on pants. I just have a very big uh, t-shirt on, but I have on like these little green, like um, boxer looking shorts from Urban Outfitters I bought yesterday. It's like girl boxers for nighttime. Like these are so comfortable, you guys, and so cute. But you know what's funny? Like seriously funny, I was thinking about this morning. I mean, it's human nature, but I am not afraid to admit this. So I was looking at these shorts this morning and I was thinking they kind of look like, vintage like and then i was like girl if you would have seen these at a thrift store would you have bought them no but since they were at urban outfitters you bought them right yes that just goes to show you that like brands can make a difference in certain uh situations i'm not like a materialistic brand crazy person but i don't know it just kind of makes a difference let me stop rambling girl let's get into this dang cleaning i'm gonna start off with my bathroom then come into my room and we're gonna follow on with the rest of our day baby <laughs> Thank you. 
I am so proud of myself. I literally just got done completing all of my cleaning. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna wash my hair today. Get out in this beautiful weather. Girl, I'm not washing my dang hair. I'm gonna have to figure out a hairstyle that's gonna work with this hair looking like that. Okay, yeah. I told Jordan not to even bring me any food because I wasn't hungry anymore because I was hungry earlier and I was craving McDonald's spicy chicken nuggets. And I also want a Red Bull. And then they weren't even open um, for lunch. So I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and make my own breakfast. This and this and that. And he just called me literally when I got done and was like, I'm outside. I got your rib on your food. Boy, I told y'all I ain't want me. But I'm going to go ahead and eat it though. Shoot, I ain't going to turn on no food now. Someone's at your front door. Hey. Oh, you got two? Yeah. You look nice. Oh my gosh, she wants to come play with her for a second. She wants you. Look at her. Look at her. Thank you. Yes, you got the nice size Red Bulls. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna be real trying to get your help real fast. So while I'm cleaning, I always come out here to my counters and I just put like all of the trash over here while I was cleaning. So I need you to actually help me with putting away all the trash. Okay. And you know where everything goes in my house, so just put everything away. The dishes go in the sink and everything like that. I'm about to start crashing this rib, boy, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. Let me show y'all what my cleaning is looking like. I am literally so hot and so exhausted. I rarely ever clean my room because it's rarely ever dirty. And then she literally slept the whole entire time me cleaning, so I'm so proud of her, you guys. <laughs> but anyway, this is what my room is looking like. All cleared out, all clean, smelling nice from that snuggle spray I sprayed on my bed. You guys know I love my bed. I honestly love the look of my room, but you guys know I get tired of stuff so fast that I'm honestly thinking about changing the dang theme in my room. Like, I don't know. And then here goes the bathroom. Everything is super clean and shiny. I love a clean shower and dust and hair was just all in here. I have my new shower caddy in there. It smells amazing in here. The floors are clean, mopped, and swept. I'm just so excited, you guys, to go ahead and take a shower and a nice, clean shower. And then I have an outfit that I want to wear today. So I went to Urban Outfitters, like I told you guys yesterday. Oh my gosh, this is a dang mess. Oh my goodness, I'm about to go ahead and eat my food, y'all. But I went to Urban Outfitters yesterday. I don't know why I came out here knowing day where that bag is in my dang closets. I went to Urban Outfitters yesterday and I found these super cute long cargo type of shorts. They fit so perfectly. They have a beautiful little belt buckle thingy. I don't know why I just said beautiful. It's so basic. It's just all black. But I think I just found the shirts to go with it. I literally have like no shirts to match these shorts. But I think the closest thing to matching these shorts is going to be this top that I got at H&M last summer. It's all black. It's kind of like a tank top it's a little halter top and these little strings tie around your stomach and it gives it like a little crisscross look so i think i'm gonna go ahead and wear that outfit today i'm so hot and sweaty y'all yeah. why didn't anybody tell me that mcdonald's came out with spicy nuggets they're so good i had like old stale ones that they literally served to me and they were still good like girl literally my favorite thing for mcdonald's is chicken nuggets i don't really care for all their burgers and all that extra stuff it's the nuggets except for that one burger i like what is it wasn't it the quarter pounder? The deluxe quarter pounder or whatever? The deluxe quarter pounder. Yeah, no lettuce, of course. No onion, none of that nasty junk. None of that nasty junk. Mm. Ooh, I got me some food. So what's the plan for today? I gotta go buy her a stroller from Petco. My puppy does not like to walk like that. She will not do it. After a while, she's like, pick me up. So I'm gonna get her a stroller because I want her to do like some more trail walking this summer and stuff like that. And I don't want her giving out on me. So I'm about to buy her a stroller. Bath and Body Works. I want to go to Bath and Body Works because y'all know I love Bath and Body Works right now. And I'm honestly re-obsessed with the Into the Night fragrance by Bath and Body Works. So I want to buy one of those perfumes. I want to look at some colognes with you. I like Bath and Body Works colognes on Jordan. I like a lot of different colognes, but it's almost like the Bath and Body Works ones are the perfect amount of scent. Like, not too strong, not too light. Um, I also want to go get ice cream. So we're going to go get ice cream. We're going to go to the place. The special place, see if it's even good anymore, because it used to be good back in the day. I've never been there. Yeah, so it's going to be a first time for you. We're going to go to like a little ice cream place called Scooby-Doo's. Yeah. And I don't know what else, but that sounds about good to me. So, mm. I almost gotten, or not, I didn't almost get into, but had an encounter with two people either being weird or not paying attention on the road. That was freaking wild. What happened? Uh... When I was headed here on the highway, one person in this this pickup truck, they weren't didn't use a turn signal or nothing, and it just like swerved straight in front of me. It was so close. You don't even know how close it was. I had to hit my brakes so hard. No turn signal. They did like whoop. No, you didn't honk your horn, did you? 
Oh, I did. Oh, you did? It was way too close. That was Finally. Y'all, you don't understand how many times I've had to honk the horn for this boy. I be having to reach over and honk the dang horn because this boy <laughs> be acting like them people was paying you or something. This boy don't want to honk the horn for nothing. You better have honked that dang horn. <laughs> Ooh. That, that was way too close. I'm very glad that you're okay. All right, y'all, your girl's about to go ahead and hop in the shower, rinse my body off, get smelling good. Yes, ma'am, I'm about to have him go ahead and watch Lock It while I get in the shower. I was going to have him go ahead and head out, but I was like, honestly, it's a better idea if I just have him watch this little girl. While I shower, get ready, and then we can go ahead and head off. I'm thinking the plan should be Bath and Body Works, Petco for her stroller, come back and grab her, and then take her out. Okay. For like a walk, go get ice cream, whatever the heck. When we get ice cream, yeah, there's like some little mini trails around there, I guess. Okay. We can go do that too. Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll have a little walking time with some ice cream, a little dog and her little stroller, see how much she wants to walk because she don't like walking like that. Plus cockapoos are some of the most sleepiest dogs. Um, they sleep from 12 to 18 hours a day. She sleeps so much, it's crazy. I got the perfect dog, you guys. She doesn't shed. She sleeps all day. She's sweet. She's pretty. Perfect dog. And she ain't gonna get that dang big. So if this ain't my dog, then I don't know what dog is. How I ended up with the most basic outfit possible, girl, I don't know, but I am very much so comfortable. I tried on that other outfit and it just did not really work out for me. So I went ahead and just put on the most basic of the basic. Hold on, I'm getting a call real fast. One second. But it's so cute. We're doing basic cute today. We got the messy hair. Yes, ma'am, because your girl did not feel like washing it. I was so exhausted from cleaning, but I got my new little pink shorts that I showed you guys in one of my recent vlogs. This little uh, pink top that I got from H&M in like a two pack. My phone is ringing. Give me one second. Okay, now, what was I even talking about? Anyway, yes, I have on like the most basic outfit in my dang closet, but I am very much so comfortable. And y'all, I have not had white toes in so long, but it feels so good to be back, you guys. I finally got my toes white yesterday. It's been so long since I've had white toes, you guys. Oh my gosh. And I just remembered I have had these sandals in my trunk for over a year now, you guys. I took them off when I was uh, gonna put like play like some sports or whatever last summer with some people and I never took them out of my trunk. So I just went to my trunk and found my little Ugg sandal that I bought last year from Kids Journeys or Journeys Kids because y'all know I have small feet so I can like fit kids sizes. But oh my gosh, these are so cute and so comfortable. There's like memory foam inside of them and they match these shorts so well. But I have not put on my perfume yet. So I got to go ahead and pick out my perfume, drop drop lock it off at my mom's house and head out but let's go ahead and pick up my perfume girl i kind of want to get slushies too <laughs> can we go to speedway and get some slushies didn't we plan on getting slushies as well oh i thought we planned on getting ice cream we did and slushies yeah oh okay then we're gonna get slushies <laughs> let's do it let's double up <laughs> <laughs> let's double up <laughs> those sandals look so nice thank you i really love these sandals i have the yellow pair too but i think they got dirty let me see if i can find them are these it Yes, here they are right here. Yeah, I have yellow pair too. They were really affordable. I think they were like 60 bucks. Okay, there it is right there. That's the dirtiness that I had on these sandals. When I tell you I wore these shoes for like two, three hours and I never wore them again, I just didn't. Mm -hmm. I like the black ones better. I like the black ones better too, yes sir. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, I am honestly so content with my perfume collection right now only because I have been smelling so many perfumes and none of them I like. Like yesterday, my mom and I went to Sephora. We smelled like every single perfume and I did not like any of them. But my perfumes that I own, I really like. So I feel like I'm just going to keep repurchasing the perfumes that I'm running out of because I have the best of the best. Like I have the best of the best perfumes available on the market when it comes down to like what I like. So today i think i'm gonna go ahead and go for replica bubble bath and gucci flora yes i'm gonna go for gucci flora and replica bubble bath in the summertime i like to wear a lot more perfume because that heat i don't know what it does but it just makes your perfume disappear so i do always keep perfume with me I always pick what perfume I want to bring with me. I always bring the stronger perfume. So this bubble bath does last way longer than this Gucci Flora. So I most likely will bring the bubble bath. But it also depends on which one I want to smell like more. Anyway, yeah, y'all know I mix my fragrances. But I always spray a lot more when it's hot outside in like the summertime. And then I also keep them in my purse. Because you got to smell good all day and day. So I do spray a couple sprays every single time before I go into a store. Just to have that, you know refreshed perfume smell but oh, be smelling good. thank you jordan mm -hmm. that's one layer but i go ahead and let it dry and then i go in again once that is fairly dry it smells better that way and you get like more of the real scent when you let it dry and then layer it again you know you smell good when you get compliments in the hot heat 
Oh my gosh, you know you smell good. All right, and we're done. You ready to go to Mimi's house? Are you ready? You ready to go see your uncle and Mimi? What's that, girl? I'm actually gonna go ahead and put my Gucci Floor perfume in there. I have my Into the Night in here, y'all. I gotta go buy me some more. Oh my gosh, this is my last bottle. I love Into the Night all over again. Like I have to go find me some Into the Night products today. All right, and we are ready. I am so excited to get the heck out of this dang house. Cleaning take me, took me way longer than I expected. I made myself breakfast, blah, 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 coffee, Bible study, stuff like that. Now it is 1.17 and I am finally leaving the dang house and I woke up at six o'clock this morning. So here we go. Buy me a slushie. Let's go. Oh girl, my lips is chapped. I got Jordan in this gas station right now getting me a Slurpee. They have these new Slurpees. They're like blueberry lemonades. When I tell you guys, they taste so good and they get better and better and better as they melt because it's still fizzy and cold. Mm, I love this dang slushie. He seriously introduced it to me. Recently, I wasn't feeling too good, so I was in bed for a couple days, and he was bringing me food every single day, bringing me slushies, whatever the heck I wanted, he was getting for me. I mean, he does that anyway, but it was more like, I'm just gonna pop up at your house, I got you something, I know you're not feeling good type stuff. He's so sweet, he really is. Um, I just got done dropping lock it off at my mom's house. It's such a beautiful day. I am so grateful to the Lord Jesus Christ for waking me up on this beautiful day. I have so many reasons to be grateful for waking up. This is gonna sound so bad, but honestly back in the day when like adults used to say girl be thankful that the lord woke you up this morning i used to be like uh for what like who the heck wants to live i genuinely thought that way my whole entire life because my life was so trash and garbage i felt like there was no reason to wake up in the morning i actually used to wish that i didn't wake up in the morning time which is sad and it sounds very bad but it's the truth so i don't feel that way anymore but i'm grateful for a lot of different reasons life gets hard and grinding ain't always easy Lord Jesus, I ask that you please bless my hustle. Amen. Everybody pray right now. Lord Jesus, we ask that you please bless our hustle and let it prosper. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's get that out the way. But there's a lot of reasons why I'm thankful to wake up every single morning. The main reason being that I can provide for my family. Facts are facts. And at the end of the day, I am the sole provider for my people. And I'm so grateful that I'm able to do that because of how much we struggled in life. So... I'm so grateful to Jesus that he wakes me up every single morning so I can continue to take care of my people. My specific prayer was to bless me so that I could bless my family. That was my specific prayer to the Lord Jesus Christ and it really happened and I'm so grateful. It makes me happy to be able to take care of my people. Yes, I could be riding around in a Range Rover. Yes, I could have been, had a beautiful house, but baby, I would much rather honor my mother like the Lord told me to. Here you come with my Slurpee. Thank you. What kind of cup is that? You're welcome. It's the medium one. Okay. This is cute. I like this cup. Yeah, they didn't have a large one. They only had a small and a medium of like this design. I like this design though. Yeah, right. Okay. I haven't had this in a minute. I'm just playing. <laughs> It actually has been a minute. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I ain't the only one that used to uh, <laughs> scoop it like this with these straws, scoop it and eat it. Oh my gosh. Girl, I still do. <laughs> really? Yeah. Childhood memories. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh, uh, speaking of. I got my ticket for the line. I gotta get a cup because, oh my gosh. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you had did it in the store with a cup. I did it's Target. Mm. I really want to enjoy my summer this summer, you guys. I was so sad I didn't really get to enjoy my summer last summer because uh, my mom and I had my nieces, and then I was working a lot. We had a new apartment, so I had to be able to afford that apartment and still be able to have extra money on the side. So it was just like so much go, go, go last summer. Oh my gosh, so much drama. When it comes to a sibling that I have that's addicted to drugs and alcohol, so much drama comes along with that and taking care of their kids and stuff like that. It was just a crazy summer. Now this summer, I want to enjoy my summer and I'm going to, baby. I ain't push out no dang kids, so I ain't got to roll around with no dang kids. Kids are a beautiful blessing, but I ain't got them, so I'm going to chill without them. I'm excited. Hey, I'm excited for you. For real, I know it's not summertime yet, but I'm about to say let's get this summer started. But it's right around the corner. For real. Let's get the bathroom out of the works, boy. Get it, what? I'm excited because low key, I'm obsessed with Beth Mighty Rush right now, and I don't even know why.
All right, so we have just made it into the Bath & Body Works store and I'm kind of sad because I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm just really sad. They discontinued the actual into the night like perfume perfume. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the body spray, which is weird because I gave away so many brand new into the night body sprays and now I'm buying a body spray, but I like the new packaging anyway. But they did discontinue the actual perfume. But I don't really mind how this butterfly by Bath & Body Works with a perfume smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy the actual perfume of this butterfly fragrance they just came out with. Even though I did specifically come here for Into the Night, that's okay. I'll just grab the body spray and call it a day. Cause like I said, I'm having an amazing day on purpose today. Okay. All right, now we are moving on to the colognes and stuff because one of my favorite fragrances on him is this stone. Y'all, this stone cologne smells so, 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 so good. It's like one of their best colognes. I had went through like all of them one day when I first started talking to Jordan cause I wanted to figure out which one I liked. Cause you said that we, wanted, we were gonna go together and I just didn't want to wait on you because I shop all the time so I was like let me just go ahead and see which one I feel like would smell nice on him plus I want to smell what I want to smell on you so I found this stone one and I love it and then the other day we were at the Tanger outlets and we smelled this teak wood cologne and it smelled so good as well so I'm gonna pick up this teak wood and the stone for him and the cool thing is that he actually does wear his cologne he don't even like be too sparing with it to where you can't really smell it all day he actually wears a good amount of it so I like that so I will keep getting you the sense that I want to smell on you. I think for me, I like shopping for your products better only because I know what I want to smell on you. I think we're going to go ahead and keep looking um, and see what else we can find. But so far, we have everything that we came here for. I'm thinking about buying that um, A Thousand Wishes perfume because, I mean, I did come here for the end of the night Oud Parfum, but they didn't have it. So I might as well just get like two Oud Parfums to make up for the one that I didn't get. <laughs> yeah, you could to make it up. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm just enjoying my day, so I'm going to get whatever I want to get. Okay, I'm gonna go grab it. Do it. Okay. Go grab it. <laughs> Here it is, y'all. This fragrance used to go crazy in seventh and eighth grade. All the girls wanted this. And the cool thing about it, not the cool thing, but the bad thing about it was that it was not in any of the semi-annual sales because it was one of their new fragrances. So this never went on sale. So if you had this fragrance in seventh or eighth grade, girl, you had the money. Okay. I actually like women's um, perfumes and body products on males as well. Honestly, in my opinion, they smell better. So I gave him my You're the One full size with a parfum because I wasn't really trying to wear it again and it smells so nice on him. So he's actually wearing that today. Nice. Okay. I also want to grab this You're the One bubble bath. I mean, I like their bubble baths, but I feel like I only like them because they smell nice. You don't want to use too much because it can irritate you. But the thing with these is their bubbles do fade away. It's just that it does make your bath smell really nice and it leaves a nice light scent on your skin. So I'm going to grab this. Y'all, I am so white. My dang arm is so red from this dang thing from carrying this thing oh my gosh oh my goodness it's getting a little heavy i got you you got it yeah okay thank you i'm gonna take a look at these house sprays again because i'm so obsessed with them and i use them every single day and i have to use them so much with locket and her and her puppy pads and all that extra stuff y'all i have to use these house sprays so much and they work amazing nothing tops these house sprays right now i'm gonna go ahead and spray the fresh coconut and cotton Ooh, that is amazing let me grab that Ooh, that, is, that smells like a fresh basket of ice laundry. Exactly, like that is so nice. I have this mahogany teakwood one in my guest bathroom and this one works so, 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 so good as well. But since I like the um, fresh coconut and cotton so much, wait a minute, I've been hearing so much about this white t-shirt. So let's see what it smells like before I get another fresh coconut and cotton. I've been hearing so much about this white t-shirt, y'all. And it's the most sprayed out. Okay, that is very nice. All right then. I guess we're gonna get one mahogany teakwood, one fresh coconut and cotton, and then one white t-shirt. Thank you. That's cute. Look at him getting little cute stuff. That's adorable. Nah, that does not gonna, match your decor though. That does not match your decor. All. It don't at all, but I want something that lights up. Too. That lights up? Yeah. I and see. I mean, I mean these ones, but they're basic. I could just be one of those. Yeah, that definitely does not match. He's gonna go ahead and grab one of these. He just wants one that's gonna light up and these light up, so that's perfect. And then what scent do you wanna go for? I think you should go for mahogany teakwood if they do have it. I think you should give me right. Okay, so then let's see. Mahogany teakwood, high intensity. There you go. This is the perfect one. That is the one that you're gonna want, for sure. And mahogany teakwood is very strong as well. 
I love it. I trust it. your word in it because everything you got smell good. So okay, I trust it. Yeah. Wait a minute, because they did say that those select body cares were five fifty, and they had like the spray colognes, like not the actual cologne colognes, but like the aerosol cans. I think we should go get the matching teakwood one for five fifty. That's not bad. Matching one. Yeah, while well, they have it for five fifty, right here. Perfect. And we are done, man. Them perfumes be expensive. I'm not even gonna lie. Where'd you go? Oh my goodness. I'm like, where'd you go? I was going over here. He was on the left side. But yes, ma'am, we are done. Bath and Body Works will be adding up, but I love when I leave because I just get to like re-smell everything and look at everything. I still have like all that Bath and Body Works stuff that I bought at the Tanger Outlet in my closet. Really? And I still go back once in a while and just peep at it, look at it, smell the stuff until I'm ready to use the stuff. Hey. <laughs> but yes, uh, like I said. I keep saying it. I'm so shocked that they discontinued my Into the Night. Yeah, that's wild. How come the one that you like the most is discontinued? One gets discontinued? Right. And then when I asked her about it, she was saying it's so rude. Nope, we don't have it. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, I'm like, she really was. I peeped that. Yeah, that was weird. Like customer service. Right. Customer service. Girl, you ain't gonna ruin my day. I'm gonna keep having a beautiful day. When you decide to have a good day and you choose happiness and you choose to have a better day, just know distractions, things are gonna try to get into your way. Whether it's somebody acting weird, somebody staring at you weird, somebody cutting in front of your car, somebody doing some weird stuff. Just expect for those things to happen to knock you off your game. These demons don't want you happy. They don't want you to win. So they're gonna do anything they can to knock you off, make you upset, and get you off your game. We're gonna stay in our game. We're gonna enjoy our day i ended up buying some um pocket bag pocket bag haul i got champagne toast i bought honeysuckle peach and no honeysuckle and peach spritz i bought waikiki beach coconut crisp morning air and last but not least since they were five for eight i got white t-shirts so i got five of them i'm gonna go ahead and leave this white t-shirt over there if you can just put it over there okay. yeah and then i'm gonna put one over here as well i put crisp morning air over here okay and we have arrived we gotta get this little stroller who the yeah. heck gets a stroller for their dog because their dog don't want to walk hey i mean oh my gosh this little spoiled puppy all <laughs> right see i mean, gotta walk i know how the heck you ain't gotta walk <laughs> and you a dog right and you a dog <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can find it on our own first, and then if we can't find it, we'll just um, ask somebody. It smells terrible in here. Thanks. It's a guinea pig. Why did I almost get a guinea pig instead of lock it? I would have to say it's gonna be over here where we got her little portable thing at. Um, and if it's not over here, then I definitely do not know where else it might be. And let me just say something really quickly. I'm not trying to be awkward, Jordan, but I've told him this a million times, so it's not really anything new, but I literally love the way he looks with his glasses on. I like the way you look either way, but these glasses are so cute. His glasses are so adorable. Like, I literally love them. My mom even said it. She's like, oh my gosh, he looks so good with his glasses. He looks so amazing <laughs> with your glasses. I love your glasses. You Seriously, so I prefer those over contacts any day. So cute. Wow, that is so big. That is so huge. Should I get that for Locket one of these days so that she can have more space? Probably when she's bigger. No, right now. I'm not seeing any stroller, but they did say that they had it in stock at this store, so let's just go ask. Yeah, so this is the only one we have. Yay, that's it. Go. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. Thank awesome. you so much. Yeah, <laughs> I have a package coming in the mail today. I did buy her a puppy car seat. Everybody was telling me, girl, just get her a puppy car seat. So I did buy one. It's in the mail right now. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put that in the car, actually, when we get to my mom's house, because I get all of my packages still delivered to my mom's house. So I'll grab that package. I want you to set it up in my car, her doggy mm -hmm. car seat, and yeah. then we'll walk her in her, um, her stroller. All right. I'm so excited. Can you set up the shoulder for me? Yeah. Yes, I'm so excited. Also, really quickly, let me find some kind of bone that she can use for her teething. She is having a, such a hard time right now with her teething, you guys. Her vet said she cannot have any bones. So she's been chewing on everything, and I feel so sad for her because I know her teeth hurt, but she's been stealing my house shoes, my underwear, my clothes. She chews on everything, my walls, my carpet, my rugs, my cords, <laughs> like literally everything. So I have to find her something that she can chew on that's gonna help her because I feel so sad for her and it frustrates me because it's my stuff that I worked so hard for but then I feel bad for her because she's a puppy yeah I guess I'll grab these little small dog value bones because these will fit in her mouth and if these don't work I'm just gonna continue to go through trial and error figuring out what's gonna work for her I had to get this dang little mold for her this little paw print keepsake mold oh my gosh I cannot wait to do this you guys her little paws are so cute and it's like a little ornament I can like keep this forever no mixing no baking no mess I just put her little paw in it let it sit out and it's 
perfect it comes with a little string like a little ribbon and everything oh my gosh i would have never thought a puppy would have cost me so much money for buying her and for all like the upkeep and maintaining her oh my gosh it cost me so much but i really do enjoy having her dang they getting drunk y'all they getting drunk Drunk. That's a college kid's way of having fun. I, I know, I know. It's like the Man. sunniest day ever. So you see a lot of people out here with their alcohol. And you see them girls where I lived at. So. They were having like a little alcohol picnic. <laughs> <laughs> the alcohol Listen, picnic. I don't care. Them girls are very responsible. I don't hey. ever hear them loud. They're respectful. They speak to me. They speak to my mom. They're sweet. They're kind. It was an organized little picnic. They weren't rowdy. I don't care. If you're going to drink, do it the right way. I don't care. Do what you got to do. As long as you're drinking the right way, I ain't got no problem with you. I don't have a problem with that. I ain't here to judge. I'm yeah. not going to be a drinker and I'm oh. not a drinker. The only time I feel some type of way about it is when you're letting the alcohol control you. All right. So we have just arrived to the ice cream place do you like it oh my gosh you guys she has the cutest little gray stroller this is so perfect for her and we use her doggy car seat you guys i'm gonna go ahead and put this up on my amazon storefront this little doggy car seat this is so perfect for her it's for small dogs but i'm gonna go ahead and put this up on my amazon storefront if you guys do have any small dogs it just clips right here clips right here she sits right here honestly i got this for a pretty good price i forgot how much it was but i remember being like this is honestly a really good price so perfect for traveling with her it's smells a little weird but over time the smell will go away i'm not gonna lie it smells like cigarettes and cats like when i tell you it smells exactly like my dad's mom it smells exactly like her i'm not playing and i do mean that in the meanest way possible but we are all set are you ready i'm really hoping they have doggy ice cream but if not she's okay oh it's scoopy dudes it's yeah, not scooby, scooby. Yeah, scooby. i thought you were saying scooby it's oh, scooby no, no. jordan that's what, makes, that's what makes it unique oh i see you lock my doors yeah I Perfect. All right. So we were originally going to get ice cream, but then we're looking at the menu and we're seeing that they have like a lot of different slushies and I really want another slushie, but they have a green apple slushie. That's what I want. They also have a strawberry one that I want, but I'm going to go for the green apple because I love green apple anything. And then we're going to order a small pup cup because they actually do have pup cups here for the puppy. So this is super fun. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my arm is already red. Hi, can I have one medium green apple um, slushy and then one strawberry medium slushy and then one small pup cup? Mission complete. I got my strawberry slushy. I got his green apple slushy and her little pup cup. She just sniffed it. I'm not sure how she's gonna do with it, but we'll just have to see. <laughs> Y'all, they over there getting lit. It is so many people over there getting so drunk. No, sit, sit, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Try it. Try it. It's pup cup. It's pup cup. It's a pup cup. It's really big. Yeah, for real, that's what I was saying. To be a small, that's very big. Yeah. Starbucks literally gives you like a little baby, like one fluid ounce. <laughs> like this is a small? Yeah, and, and here they always like make the smalls pretty big. So the gigantic ones are like. I bet. Ugh. Did you see that girl when she seen the dog in the stroller? The girl in front of us? Yeah, she like... She looked when? behind, because I said a pup cup. And then she mm -hmm. looked at me like, you have a stroller, what do you think? And then she looked in the stroller, and she started tapping on her boyfriend's shoulder. She was like, oh my gosh, look, look, look. He was like, who cares, like, type stuff. She's like, look, look, look. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I'm like, you mad because you want a puppy stroller. They were trying to be so low-key with it, or she was trying to be so low-key with it. Can I taste this? I mean... It's literally ice cream like vanilla or something yeah it's just like safe for dogs i guess but it tastes just like ice cream it tastes like uh mcdonald's vanilla ice cream it's good ain't it my mom yeah she's tearing it up now. i know it's so cute i love days like this go ahead girl as soon as we get done walking and going to the park and everything i need to immediately place a pickup order for olive garden i took mm -hmm. my mom out last night i took her to get her feet done her nails and her eyebrows done i took her out to eat yes ma'am and i'm um, going to olive garden and i let her where i got her a strawberry cream cake that Jordan and I love so much. Girl, she called me right when she got done eating it and was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, <laughs> like, yo. So then when I went to go pick her up today from my mom's house, she was like, if you just so happen to stop by Olive Garden, uh, can you give me one of them cakes? Matter of fact, is there any like pickup stuff you can do? I'm like, yeah, mama, I got you. I'm gonna get you a little pickup cake. Look at her. It's nasty. It's that nasty. Let me get it. Let me taste it. Really? That tastes disgusting. They really do. What the heck is that? Medicine and cough syrup? 
That is so sour. You cannot taste any sort of strawberry in there. That's not good at all. You can't taste the green apple or the strawberry. No. <laughs> at all. You taste. What happened though if you like drink both of these together, like the mixture, they might make them taste better. Go ahead, see. Green apple and strawberry. I don't really want to, but I was just, it was a thought. Hey, 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 be quiet. The, the manager just walked out. The manager literally just walked out and looked at us. But it's better than them alone, but. It is. Yeah. It is. This is a nice little walk, though. It is. It really yeah, is, yeah. you guys. We are headed to the park right now. We're probably going to get to the park and then literally walk right back because <laughs> what the heck are we about to do at the park? <laughs> but I love walking. It's so nice just to walk. We walk our whole entire life, not having to get from A to B, but just going on the trails because we didn't have much money. So in the summertime, we just went on the trails all the time, walked to the park, walk, 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 walk. Um, in days like this, it just reminds me of my childhood. Like even my older brother, he called my mom this morning and was thanking her for putting us on the trails our whole entire life. Like we would walk and walk and walk. And yes, we would complain. We would be so <laughs> tired. Like I'm telling you, we would be so tired. But my mom was very big on her kids being active. Why didn't you tell me they had a trail? I'm sitting up talking about some. We ain't got nothing to do with the park. Hey. Look at it, it's a whole no, trail. Yeah, they got trails that lead like all the way around the back. Really? Yeah. Let's walk it. We about to walk that. Let me tell you who can walk the best. The kids that skip school. Let me tell you something. <laughs> so I skipped class one time, right? We're walking, 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 walking. We have been walking for like an hour. I'm tired at this point. I'm complaining. Mm -hmm. All the girls are like, uh, you better get used to it. Cause we do this all the time, all the time. We ain't got no cars. We walk everywhere. I can't even breathe at that point. Them girls went and went and could have still went. Hey, them junk, those used to be real fun Ooh. back in the day though. This is an amazing swing. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I have to bring my nephew here. He's going to love this. This is like the only swing he can fit in. Don't you feel so secure? Wait a minute. What? That say two to 12. Man, you can this. Nice. I'm about to get some pushes. These the McDonald's ones. <laughs> For real. <laughs> All right, Miss Lockett. Ready? Ready? <laughs> so from now on, I'm gonna bring a backpack with us so we have water bottles and all the things that we need. I'm done with the whole purse thing when we come out like this. So we need mm -hmm. to go to Target. I should have bought that backpack that I seen at Target the other day. Cause my fanny pack ain't finna hold nothing. No, and that dang tote bag, I'm not about to keep carrying it. Right. <laughs> Unless I'm going out to look cute and stuff. Sue, and look at you right now. Mm, 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 mm. You're cute. Alrighty, girl, was that fun? I am sweating so hard. Oh my gosh, y'all, I gotta freshen up. Yes, ma'am. We gotta get to Olive Garden, pick up my mama cake, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I bought off Amazon. Sorry. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you won't. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. Hey, 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 you need to get your money right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we are still headed to Olive Garden right now, but I was just thinking, because I've been thinking about it all day. I am very proud of myself, you guys. If only you guys knew where I was at this time, even last year, when it comes down to confidence. Oh my gosh. I thought I was confident. I thought that I loved how I looked but what I loved was the tan the eyelashes etc etc the fact that I'm able to feel confident and beautiful with my skin fully broken out I'm pale as crap barely no eyelashes on my lashes and I just got done confirming my appointment I'm excited um is absolutely it's absolutely a crazy huh? <laughs> it's absolutely crazy and extremely commendable. No lie, hands down, it took a lot to get here. I got me a chauffeur. Hey. I got me a chauffeur. <laughs> I know it was so unsafe for me to climb back here while he was driving, but she was shaking and her tongue was out and I looked it up and it said that she could be having anxiety or she could be nauseous. So I'm back here trying to comfort her. She definitely was not looking too well back here. Like Jordan was like, she's shaking like back there. Like, I don't know what's going on. Okay, her tongue's back out. Oh my goodness, it's okay, baby. I gotta put her medication back in her eye. I'm not sure if you guys noticed or not, but she does have like some ear, a little bit of an irritated eye. Her vet said that something might have got inside of it. 
so we do have some prescription for it are you okay oh, this is like really worrying me can you pass me a, a water bottle or something thank you you're welcome here baby drink it here drink it drink it you got it there you go and we have arrived to olive garden y'all thank you for giving my mom her a cake you're sweet. yeah for sure spot number six we out here come on side i am not lying that cart seat smells like my dad's mom's house i'm not joking i used to hate going up for her house because every single time we left her house it's mm. we always smell like cigarettes cats and dogs mm. every single time <sighs> Straight up, I will always respect my grandpa for that very reason, though, because my grandpa was racist um, prior to my dad meeting my mom. Um, but then when he got to know my mom and then he had mixed grandchildren, um, that was out the door. He called my mom his daughter. He loved us. It, that was never a thing. We knew that wasn't a thing. My dad's mom, on the other hand, is extremely, to this day, extremely racist. And I personally, like, I've forgiven everything, or at least I think I've forgiven. I try. But I seriously still feel some type of way about the way she treated my niece because my niece was black. Mm. The way she treated my niece would lock her in rooms, not talk to her because she was black. They would talk so much mess about her, like, oh my gosh. And it made me so sick. Oh my gosh, like, I'll be telling you everything. I tell them so many story times. Let me tell you what made me sick. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what made me sick. My dad's daughter came to me and was talking about how they're racist towards her daughter they don't like her daughter because she's black but they like her son because he's light and all this different stuff how she doesn't like how they treat her daughters blah blah blah, blah how they're racist it's in a snap as soon as i gave ayla back to her and put her back into her hands for her to have um her child again because i took care of her for a very long time as soon as i gave her back she sent ayla up north like two hours away with that lady for a full week I said, you're sending my niece with somebody that you know doesn't right. like her because of her skin color because you don't want to take care of your child. Mm -hmm. But I guess that really shouldn't have been too shocking considering she did go over to a cousin's house like a couple months ago calling me and all my siblings and all of my family the N-word with the hard R at the end but want to come play and act like that ain't what she said. So do you really care about your baby or your babies knowing that they are black women out here in this world and you get drunk and go to your cousin's house and call all of us the N word with the hard R? Ugh, I think there's a lot of confusion going on. She was so racist towards my mom. All the stuff she put my mom through because of my mom's skin color. And then you treat my niece some type of way, my beautiful niece. To this day, I'll never get that. Like, you must want to be that race or something that you're hating on so bad. Right. Like, literally. Oh my gosh. Like, like, what are you mad for? That's what I'm if saying. If they're so low of the low and you think they're so, ugh, why are you so worried about them? Exactly. Why is my why? mom's name always in your mouth to this day? And she ain't been married to your son for how long? Your son been gone. Mm -hmm. I, I swear, I don't know. I guess. For you just... not liking her so much, she's the hot topic. And I hope she watching this, for real, I hope she really is. I absolutely hate doing her eye medicine, you guys, but it has to get done. Something got in her eye, and her eye is just like pink. It has gone down a lot, um, and it has like two little bumps underneath her eye. So it's just the process of actually putting this stuff in her eye that I literally cannot stand. Like, it's so sad, I hate doing it. Oh my goodness, come here, babe. I open her eye, I put it in her eye. She closes her eye, rub it, because it didn't get all in her eye. I gotta get her little eye boogers out. I'll be having to get these things like every day, man. Then I just rub it all on her eye. She has so much fur, so I have to make sure I actually get it on her eye. Oh my goodness. And she should be better sometime soon, but it's just the consistency. One thing a lot of people do not really talk about when it comes down to acne is the physical pain that it comes with. It does, it is painful mentally and emotionally, but physically it also is very painful. So right now, emotionally and mentally, I'm okay with my acne, but the physical pain right now is so annoying. Oh my gosh, these pimples hurt so bad, y'all. But I'm blessed to even have skin, amen. If you haven't already, y'all need to go ahead and check out this Tremble Mosaic SM, I mean MSC Glory and Wonder song. It is so beautiful and 100% true, but it's also extremely powerful. My little Lockie is over there resting, y'all. She has had a very eventful day, so she's tired. Anyway, I am so happy to come home to my beautiful room that is so clean. Girl, I don't care if I had a little air mattress over here, a little TV, maybe a little stand. If it's neat and clean, it's gonna make me feel 10 times better. And I'm speaking from experience because y'all know your girl slept on an air mattress for a very long time. I'm about to set my tripod right here, take a couple pillows off and do my Amazon haul. And I am so excited because I have not been shopping on Amazon at all, but I bought my puppy some stuff. Well, I bought Miss Lockett some stuff on Amazon and I was like girl 
I'm seeing some stuff I kind of want, so let's get it. Honestly, just a little sneak peek. I'm kind of upset about this dang Joyce Meyer book I bought. I thought it was going to be so much bigger. Look at my hand, y'all. Look at my hand. Like, oh my gosh. Like, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? All right, all right, all right. I also want to go ahead and apologize for turning up a little bit earlier. I have to say, out of all, like, topics and subjects in my life, that's one of the most sensitive ones to talk about with me i don't know why this tripod is always so crooked y'all see how crooked that looks only because the fact of the matter is my father his mother and his daughter those three they have put my family through so much that words can't even explain words can't even describe the pain and hurt they have put my family through and are still trying to okay when that subject comes up or when that topic comes up for me it's always very hard for me like to keep my cool because I have like a strong disliking for the people. I, I can't. Anyway, let me stop. Forget, but never forget. The very first package has literally all of Locket stuff except for my chlorophyll. I have this on my Amazon storefront link down below. I absolutely love chlorophyll i have to stay stocked up on my chlorophyll you guys this stuff right here i take two of these a day they have me on a regular schedule for my number twos this stuff right here it'll get you right girl it'll get you right i actually just got done putting this on her and i haven't seen any itching i've been seeing this itching with her and i don't know what it is i'm pretty sure it's her dry skin because her vet didn't see anything and there was nothing wrong with her like there's no reason for her to be itching so i'm pretty sure it just it's just her dry skin so i bought her this war in london guava and mangosteen hydrating butter leave-in conditioner this stuff right here smells really nice and she seriously enjoyed me putting it on her like oh my gosh she was just like yes i have not used this yet but i also got this oatmeal conditioning spray i'm hoping that this works as well for her little dry skin i don't want to overdo it so i'm going to use that see if it works if not i'll try this out see if they work maybe together but i want to see what works best girl i was looking at all of those combs on amazon and they were scaring me because i'm like her her vet said she needs to be you know combed and stuff like that but when i seen the combs i'm like what do you mean like for her kind of hair the kind of curly hair she has like it just really worried me using any of those combs like she's gonna squeal she's not gonna like it and then this popped up out of nowhere on amazon see i'm telling you the lord be working this popped up out of nowhere this is a cocker and poodle comb for dogs so it's like for her kind for her breed kind girl i don't know anything about dogs if i'm being completely honest i don't even know why i have a dog i love her to death i love her she's like amazing like i'm glad i have her but i'm the last person that didn't have a dog but i'm doing well i love her she cute but this is the comb it has it's like a wide tooth comb and that's like the only thing i've seen that seems safe for her that other junk girl y'all can keep that not for mine and last but not least in this uh, package, I also have these Wag and Wiggles Purify Hypoallergenic Wipes for Dogs in the scent Zesty Grapefruit. But like her number two gets on her fur back there. I don't like that. So I'm going to keep these to just wipe her coat and also wipe her little butt. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Why is this package so heavy? Anyway, girl, I'm ready for the powerful thinking. I got this powerful thinking Joyce Meyer book. Y'all know I try to stay positive. I try to think powerful thoughts because I see the difference in my life when I do and when I don't. And then I also found this Do It Afraid book on um, Amazon. This really stuck out to me. They both did. Y'all don't understand like how many things I've done even though I was afraid. And I did it and it was successful. And I can't imagine how my life would be if I didn't do it afraid. So... Sometimes I need that extra little boost, like, girl, you did it before, you can do it again. Or, do it afraid. Go ahead. You hear the Lord talking to you. So, I purchased this Do It Afraid Joyce Meyer book, and I am so excited to read this book. Like, y'all don't even understand. And then it has, like, a lion? Boss vibes. Girl, I don't know. I was gonna buy, like, ten different color spoolies, because I'm obsessed with spoolies. I'm fully psyched up on them. I don't need any more spoolies, but I love spoolies. I use them for my eyebrows, and I use them for my eyelashes, so I bought a big old pack of white and like clear glitter spoolies if you guys ever watch my how to thoroughly clean your behind video oh my gosh these personal like perennial cleaners are absolutely amazing i put these on my flushable wipes after i get them going number two put two three squirts back there go like down here like down for a little while put it in the toilet do it again on a fresh one and then just go over the third time with your flushable wipe and it really keeps you fresh after your number two like no lie i can't go back so i bought a three pack of my favorite personal cleaners these are up on my amazon storefront 
the heck these boba straws so big for? I'll be right back. Oh, they ain't that much bigger. Girl, I was tripping. I'm like, this is my regular boba straw. I bought two new boba straws and I'm like, why are these so large? But I guess it's not like that much bigger. But I'm like, dang. Anyway, I love my boba straws for my iced coffee in the morning time, you guys. I love these in my mason jar. Perfect straws. I love them. I bought um these ones at Target. They do sell them at Target. Um, The gold ones came with the mason jars. And then they have these on Amazon. So I was like, yes, yes, ma'am. And then last but not least, what is this? Ooh, girl. I have been seeing all these metal, like, stain. Uh, hmm? What the heck is the difference between iron, metal, steel? Like, hmm, I don't know. But anyway... I'm tired of seeing them kind of uh, tongue brushes because I don't like them. They don't really work for me. And I have a plastic one that was sold by Ortec. What the heck was it called? I'm not really sure. But they discontinued it and I love it. And when I tell you guys, this is like the exact one that I use every single day that they discontinued. This is the best tongue brush in the whole entire world. Do not use it how they tell you to use it. They tell you to use it like this. Like this. Girl, I flip it around the other way. I've been doing it for years. It works so much better. Put it this way. It's on my Amazon storefront this way. But that was everything for my Amazon haul. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video because I seriously enjoyed my day. I love every single one of you guys. God bless you all in the mighty powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, sorry for turning up a little bit earlier. It's just a sensitive subject. I don't apologize for what I said. I apologize for maybe, um, maybe if you don't know what you're apologizing for, you're probably gonna apologize. I love y'all. God bless you all in the mighty powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's time for your girl to 